guys how are you doing today is your boy Agbam Goretti and I'm gonna show you how to do the flow transition effect on Final Cut Pro X from the intro Seriously, it's really quick and easy to do, but for this you need a camera, a tripod, and Final Cut Pro X. So first, find a good spot where to shoot, set up your camera and tripod, let it record for about 5 seconds. Then walk in the frame and stand in front of the camera, or do your thing. And you are pretty much done, let's jump into Final Cut. So launch Final Cut. Look for your empty background and place it into the project timeline. Then look for the clip with the person in it and place it next to it. Now under your transition tab, look for flow. Drag it between the two clips. And now you can stretch the transition depending how long you want it to last. Like that it should be fine. Yeah. Take a look at it. And it looks pretty good. Now you can add some sound effects, some color grading, and boom. Perfect. Oh, yeah, little trick for you guys go ahead and select your two clips, right click, new compound clip. Go into your FX tab and look for handheld. Drag it in top of your clip. So basically what it does, it adds a little movement to the camera, like the shakiness, you can change everything on it. And it doesn't look like it's shot on a tripod. Go on the handheld and just bring down the shakiness. It doesn't make it too obvious, you know? Because if you do it too much, look at it. No, it's, it's not, it's not true, no. So, bring the shakiness down to, down to 10, that's good. And the distance until 24. Actually, a little too much in the shakiness, so let's do better 8. That's perfect. That's it. I told you it's gonna be easy. So this is how you do a flow transition effect. Alright guys, that was today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. And I see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, that's a vibe. She